Welcome to Efax Tech. My name is Pradeep and today I will show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware Fusion. Hey friends, before we start, I would really appreciate if you subscribe my channel so you would not miss any important videos. And trust me, it takes a lot of efforts to make these videos. So please support us. Let's start now. If you want to know more about VMware Fusion and installation process, I have made a video, see the link in the description for the more details. Now we have to download a Kali Linux ISO. So open any browser and search Kali Linux or type the URL in the address bar www.kali.org. Now once the page is open, go to downloads at the top. I'm going to install Kali Linux 64 bit. So click on Kali Linux 64 bit installer. It will start the download. I have already downloaded so I'll launch VMware Fusion. Click on new. You can drag and drop the ISO or click on continue. Tap on use another disk or disk image. This will let you access the location of that Kali Linux. Select that particular file, tap on open and click on continue. Select the Linux from the left hand side and make sure that you select Debian 9x 64 bit. If you select 10x 64 bit, it may not go further. So select 9x 64 bit and tap on continue. Tap on continue on this page. Now I'll show you if you want to customize the settings or the hardware for this virtual machine. So name the virtual machine as you like and click on save. This will give you the access to the settings of the virtual machine. Now click on general. If you want to write any important notes, you can do that. Processors and memory would let you change or allocate more processors and memory. If you click on advanced options at the bottom, this gives more choices. I would suggest let it be default. The display option can let you add the graphics or a video card for this virtual machine. I'm not going to add this just because I'm doing this for the test or a demo. Hard disk is by default for this virtual machine is 20 GB. If you want to increase, you can do that. USB devices, if you would like to connect, this is the place which shows all the USB devices connected to the virtual machine. So we'll close this, hit this triangle here to start the setup and installation. Select graphical install on this page and hit enter from the keyboard. The setup and installation will take some time. So I will speed up the video in few steps. Select language and click on continue. Select your location and click on continue. Select the keyboard type and click on continue. This will start mounting the ISO and it will gonna take some time. Type the host name or leave as it is and click on continue. Domain name is optional, so click on continue. Type the full name for the new user and click on continue. I'm going to name this as Efax Tech Kali. You can name as you like. This will be your user account name. So make sure whatever you are typing the user account or username, you have to use the same while logging into this Kali account. So type the password and click on continue. Make sure that you remember all this. Now it will configure the clock so you can select your time zone. So select the time zone which you have and click on continue.
Now this is partitioning the disk. This will take some time. Select the default guided use entire disk and tap on continue. Click on continue on this page also. Now let it be selected the default one and click on continue. Click on continue on this page again. Select yes on this page and click on continue. This will start the installation and again this will gonna take time so I will fast over the video. Click on continue. Click on continue for this grub bootload. Select the device here at the bottom and click on continue. Once it will finish the installation, tap on continue. It will go and reboot the virtual machine for the Scali Linux. Now on this page, we have to hit enter once again. Now type the user account and the password which we have set. While typing the password, I did one mistake, so I'm doing it again. Now this will load the Kali Linux virtual machine. Now I'll show you that this Kali Linux virtual machine can go to the full screen and single window. In order to access this feature, we have to install VMware tools, but as we have used an easy install option, the VMware tools has installed automatically. So we don't have to do, so we don't have to install it again. I will also show you that we can do copy and paste, drag and drop from the host and the Kali Linux virtual machine. So I'm taking a couple of screenshots so I can show you that in this video. So I've taken these two screenshots. I'll copy one of these screenshots and I'll drag and drop the other screenshot. So if you could see that drag and drop is working. Now we'll go ahead and try the copy and paste. So yes, copy and paste is also working. So this is how we have installed Kali Linux successfully on VMware Fusion. If you have any problem with the VMware tools installation or copy and paste, drag and drop is not working, feel free to mention in the comment box. I'll check and I'll definitely uh, try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you think this tutorial is helpful, please subscribe my channel and do not forget to like and share. If you have any suggestions or feedback about my channel or for this video, please feel free to mention the comment box. Thank you.